Hello, friend. It's Wizard Foo, and I have a crazy... <laughs> oh, man. I'm so excited to announce this. I finally got this camera rotation working. I know it's a really little thing, but, man, I am excited about it. And uh, let me show you what happened with the mathematics. Look how crazy my hologram is right now. What just happened? It was there, now it's gone. Wow. Anyways, let me show you the mathematics and, and what I went through to finally figure out what it was. First it was sine waves, then it was no sine waves. Okay, first of all, we're going to look at the camera rotating perfectly. And then we'll go back and look at uh, how the camera used to rotate. So here's how the camera rotates. It's super duper perfect. Woo! Yeah. And also, you can tell that I fixed the thing in my last video. I mentioned that, uh, for example, when you look at the ground, the ground um, is perfect. And then when you go to a 45 degree angle, you get these little uh, little bits showing through. But before, that was a lot worse. It was actually what was actually happening is was it was not actually even rotating the uh, some of the models when you rota rotated uh, to different angles. So um, that's fixed as well as the camera rotation. So let's go ahead and look at um, what it used to look like. Um, so let's go back a commit. Should just be one CPP file so we don't have to compile much. Yep. Okay, so here's where it was. And I had this problem where whenever I would be rotating from zero to a 45 degree angle, the camera would sort of go off to the uh, upper right or the northeast. See that? Sort of drifts offwards. I'll, I'll slow down the time so you can see it a little bit more clearly. Let's go one more slower. See that? It's sort of drifting off and then it, and it like slides back into place. Um, so that's what it was when it, when it wasn't. But I, this is when I had it almost working. I was like, ah, this almost works. But... I could never quite get it perfect, no matter what sine and cosine and however the heck I rotated things. So let's go ahead and uh, check out uh, Dev again. Get back to get back to the cool, awesome code. And uh, let me take a look at. Let me show you what um, this what happened here with the code. So um, I basically uh, got it to be rotating almost right a few weeks ago when um, I got the render offsets working so that when the camera is rotated, the entire arena actually has a render offset. So because the arena is, a, is, is technically a square in 3D, or a cube in 3D, you could say, um, but when you rotate it at the, at the right uh, X camera angle, it suddenly becomes a rectangle. And then when you rotate it at a 45 degree angle, it's a rotated rectangle. So imagine a rotated rectangle. That is going to be a completely different render offset. Is there, zero, zero, for example, is going to be way down in the corner. Imagine a diamond, for example. A diamond zero, zero is way outside the diamond to the bottom left. Um, so that's... so. Um, the camera rotating and everything. This is what it used to happen. Here's this is the, my latest commit here. Um, it just has chunks of code thrown away because I didn't need any of this when I finally stumbled on the correct solution. Um, so it, I was setting a camera offset. I don't know how this this math right here worked. Like this this section of code here. I'm I have I still have no idea. Have no idea how. I was trying to basically, because there was a render offset, I was adding a camera offset in 3D um, because I, I couldn't figure out how to set the camera's position in 2D correctly because it's a 3D camera. So that, that makes sense, right? Uh, so I'm trying to give the camera a three-dimensional offset that would be accurate so the camera looks right when you're rotating to like 45 degrees, 90 degrees, any of the different, anything other than zero, this would this would need some sort of camera offset here. So um, I started with that. I got the the ninety degree angles working, and then and this is all the crazy math I had to do to try and get uh, to try and get the um, the camera looking right at forty five degrees. So I figured that oh, at forty five degrees, the camera uh, looks great with this offset exactly. And then I figured I could rotate it. See, I rotated it rotated by a certain amount of degrees depending on. For example, when the camera's rotated like only two degrees, we only need to we only need a little bit of that. And then I had some crazy factors and sine and cosining the factors and blah, blah, blah. All this never got it to be quite right. But I didn't need any of that code. Here's what the simpler, this is so much more simple. Basically, I just take 
the uh, the player's position in 2D, right? Then uh, I take the frame buffer size, subtract that out. So we've got a lower left corner of the camera, right? This is subtracting out half the frame buffer size. And that gives us the lower left corner of where the camera should be. And then we're adding in 10 more pixels to the Y so that the, the player is actually centered in the screen. So um, as it is, the pause 2D is measuring the very bottom of the character. And so we're just adding a little bit so that... Um, we're looking at the cent the center of the camera or center of the screen is right at the center of the player or the right about at the center of the the uh, the is where where the player's body mass would be centered in three dimensions, um, but in two dimensions it's just adding ten pixels to the Y, and then we and then all that is we're taking this is a two dimensional position right we're taking the two D pos position of the player adding in an offset and then on projecting so simple. So we're taking that two-dimensional offset, making it 3D, and here we're subtracting out 0, 0 from the projection. And then rounding it, too, so that the camera is always on a nice pixel boundary and not, not ever getting any janky, you know, 0.3 pixels. Uh, so then that's it. That is all that was needed to get this working perfectly. So let's go look at it one more time because I'm so excited. <laughs> Uh, this is one of those things that I thought would take all day. I was like, you know what? I'm today's today's task is to try and get the camera rotating perfectly. And I thought, ah, oh, this is such a hard issue. It's probably going to take all day. But when I finally stumbled on the solution, it really was only a five minute thing. I mean, I've spent all morning trying to get trying to get to this solution, but I'm pretty excited about this. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be doing some more. Uh, awesome 3D pixel art later, improving steadily. Thanks for watching.